Hi, I'm Anya. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I would like to share with you another recipe from Puff Pastry. We're going to prepare palmiers, but this time we're going to prepare apple palmiers. Uh, in Polish we would call it palmiery jabłkowe, delicious and quick. You just need apple butter, puff pastry and some cinnamon and some sugar. How easy is that? You are going to see. This is like the last minute treat for me. If I find out I have guests, I need two hours for the puff pastry to defrost and then another half an hour to make it all work. And that's it. You have fresh, delicious pastry ready and the house smelling amazing. I hope you guys are going to give them a try. And in case you decide to do that, let's have a look at the ingredients so you know what you need. We're going to start with preparing the sugar. So we add the cinnamon and definitely we have to whisk it well. I have a little helper today. Okay, when the sugar is ready, we're going to sprinkle some on our working surface. We don't use flour, we use sugar with cinnamon. Okay, I have defrosted puff pastry. We're going to unroll it. have a lot of help. Here we go, we're going to put the puff pastry on the sugar and we're going to press it. We want the sugar to get into the puff pastry a little bit and that's why I'm going to also as well roll it a little bit with the rolling pin. Okay, well we definitely need to taste the cinnamon sugar. I think it was Isabella's approved. Okay, then I have my apple butter. And now you can just buy it ready in the store or you can make it your own. I usually make it and then I keep it in a jar in the fridge. So uh, I have it ready when I need it. Okay, we need to taste it. Yeah, approved again. <laughs> We're going to spread it around. I'm going to... Um, list the recipe for the puff pastry and for the apple butter in the description box down below if you would like to make it your own okay here we go and after we spread the apple butter we're going to roll it the puff pastry halfway and then from the other side again halfway Right. And if the puff pastry gets too sticky, you want to put it in the freezer for 15 minutes. But for me, it was perfectly okay. It didn't get too sticky and I wanted it to be a little bit sticky. So when I roll it in the cinnamon sugar, it gets the sugar in the pastry. Here we go. So we cut it into uh, around one, one and a half centimeter thick slices and then we roll them in the cinnamon sugar and arrange them on the baking sheet lying either with the parchment paper or I have a cinnamon, cinnamon <laughs> silicone mat. Well it is a cinnamon mat now with all the cinnamon on it. <laughs> okay Isabella is doing a good job here rolling the pastry and then at the end I'm going to sprinkle some more cinnamon sugar on top. And this goes into the oven preheated to 200 degrees Celsius which is 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes but after 10 minutes we're going to take it out and then with the gloves on very carefully we're going to flip everyone on the other side here we go Now we're going to sprinkle some more cinnamon sugar on the other side and this goes back into the oven for additional 10 minutes. Just be careful, it is hot. Okay, and after 20 minutes that's how they look like and they are still soft. So you want to gently remove them and put them on the a cooling rack and let them cool down completely so they get nice and crispy. The house smells amazing with the apples and cinnamon. 
I love it. I love it. It really, it's like everyone comes in, mm, what's going to be? <laughs> they are delicious. They are delicate. They are with the apple and cinnamon, crispy, melting in your mouth. Amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed the movie. And if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Smart Nego. Hi, I'm Anya. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I would like to show you how to prepare my mushroom bread rolls. We would call them in Polish bułeczki z grzybami and they are amazing. We're going to use some mushrooms, some onions, some cheese. How can you go bad with that? I don't think you can. <laughs>